Hi Virgos! Welcome to my channel. We're doing your November 13th, Monday to the Sunday, the 19th. This is for the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, in our extended reading, we're going to see what and why are they hiding okay, with your uh, love uh, relationship. Okay? So let's get on for you guys first here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Um, you have your Five of Swords, uh, you know, well, we all know that in war, there is no winner. Um, argument arise, um, not meeting of where you are, basically. Um, you guys are experiencing some sort of um, problem with communicating with this person. It's just like you just want to strangle this person. It's like, how can we always argue? Five, struggles, okay? So there's a problem here. Can be an air sign that you're connecting Virgo. You have your ace of wands, here comes the makeup sex. <laughs> if it's not makeup sex, this is how they, they make up because very fire in nature, so they're gonna go like, okay, we argued, but you wanna do something fun? You know, this is their approach with you. And then it ignites inside you, it's like, all right, you know, because it's fast. This person acts fast after the whole dilemma of not being able to know where to eat for lunch or what for dinner or when are we gonna meet again, you know, this is the this is the argument that you are having with this person. Are we still gonna see each other? It's like, why are you not texting me? Those are the five of swords. They go fast and furious. It's like, they're not, they're gonna just brush off the, the argument and then they're gonna come up with you with something passionate and something fast and it ignites your feelings and then you go along with it because it's an ace, you have an opportunity again. It's good, yes, but don't forget your feelings, Virgos, okay? We all know. If you only know how much of a Virgo I am, guys, I am a lot of a Virgo, okay? That's, uh, that's my blueprint over here. Hangman and the High Priestess over here. So you could be in a situation where you're just probably just like, you know what? Let me study this. Uh, give me some thought. Give me some time. Give me some space. Okay? This is when you remove yourself from the situation on, so that you will gain some clarity. Because it's like, if we are always malefic and arguing, it's like, why? So this is the part where you say why. Even further. You may encourage the Ace of Wands. Yes, you may do the little dirty over there. But by the end of the day, you are not connected with the person. Meaning, you're smart enough. It's like, yeah, we can do something fun. But I know where my limit is this time. Because I need, I really need to see where is this going. What is it really, you know, what is really about? You know, the hangman. And then during this moment also, this is a healthy pause. You can't just always just riding the horse. No pun intended, Virgo. But I'm just saying, it's like, you can't always just be riding the horse in the sense that, um, you know, it's like going, going, going. But where is it really leading into? And then here, you're doing some research. Okay. Googling the names. Just looking at their Instagram feed. Who they're liking. What their pages that they're following. Okay. That's the high priestess energy there, Virgo. If not, you don't have a stalker energy. But this is also you going within, researching about this person. Or even just maybe their favorite stuff. Or what makes them happy. You know, what makes... You know, it's something about them that you are looking into. It shouldn't always be malefic. It can be even a concern. Because you as a healer, you could probably be researching things to help this person in their life. They say that the Leos has the biggest heart in the Zodiac. Okay, because they're the heart of the Zodiac. Um, that, yes, is true. This is just a side, side note. But you as a Virgo, okay, one thing that you need to understand is that you care a lot. Period. And that's where you, you have your heart always get butchered. You care a lot. Okay? There's difference between loving and caring. You could, will care for everybody. And it hurts when they don't return it because like, why me? Why not? What about me? When? You know, this is when the part you're saying also here. Seven of Cups. So you have found something or they have found um, things, you know. Um, but this is like how you would want to, I think, associate with them. So because the High Priestess here is looking within, looking deeply. And then it's like, okay, also oh, this is the things that, that we connect with. These are the dreams. This is this person's dreams or their goals. And this is mine, mine, mine. You know, that's what you're looking at. Seven of Wands. Both seven over here. You're restricting this person. You're putting them into a lockdown. Ooh, and the Hermit card, which is you. You are becoming smarter and wiser with this person. Okay? I'm sensing here there is, there is something not clear with this person. And you're really trying to figure it out. And you're putting a wall and a barrier. You stay where you're at. I let you when you want to come in, okay? Not like before. You don't have the keys right now, 
okay and you have your eight of pentacles so you're very rigid like you're very like um putting a lot of effort in in developing putting effort but not with a person but by learning what is this connection about you got you are doing some really deep thinking here virgo especially you came out here with a person that connect. can be another virgo high priestess water sign over here taurus also okay so i'm going to continue this reading of what are they hiding virgos and why you want, what you want to